Hello everyone, welcome to another video. In this video, we will discuss an important use case using workflows. Workflow is a component by which you can automate some automate some processes uh, using some configuration item, right? So how can you, so in this video, we'll discuss how you can automatically decrement or increment field values dynamically or automatically depending on child record. For example, let's say this is my user entity whose name is employee. I have a entity called as doctor appointment. My intention is whenever a doctor appointment record gets completed associated with an employee, employee represent here as a doctor. So what I want, every doctor has associated capacity. So let me go to the app and show you how it looks like. What is the requirement is all about. So let's say I have an employee here and in this employee, I have a doctor here. So I differentiate employees as doctor and nurse depending on a column called as choice, employee type, right? So let me show you that quickly so that you can identify the real use case. Okay. Now let me go here and just filter it by, this is the system user entity. So I have configured. So let me choose doctors, seven doctors. Now this is a filtered view where I am filtering employee type is doctor. That's why the view seven hills doctor will only display the number of records or employees who are doctors only. Now let me open a doctor from this list. Now this is a doctor, let me open this. And when I open this doctor, I can configure two columns. The first column is called as total capacity. Another is called as remaining capacity, right? Now if I will go, so this is the total capacity. Let me open one more record with correct data. open this one Ramesh Kumar let's say this Ramesh Kumar is a doctor and let's say his capacity is 50 that means let me make it as 50 initially okay my intention is whenever a new doctor appointment is created and completed for this doctor Ramesh Kumar I'm expecting this remaining capacity value should automatically decrease decrement by one total capacity one means the doctor can only maximum capacity to treat the total count of patient is 50 in a day and as soon as you create doctor appointment and keep completing it will decrease and it will decrease by zero and it will not allow me to create new doctor appointments right so how I can automatically decrement this value depending on the child record. So this is the parent record and this is child record. If I'll go here, appointments, this doctor appointment is a child record. So let me create a new doctor appointment for that same doctor. Let's say point one, appointment slot today. And I can define some symptoms here choose a patient and doctor I will choose Ramesh Kumar. Now this Ramesh Kumar has 50 number of capacity, treatment capacity. So let me save. Now when I saved it, I'm expecting, I'm telling that appointment slot cannot be updated. Okay. So let me change it to more uh, future dated appointment slot. Now a appointment created for the doctor. Now let me deactivate this. So when I deactivate this, by marking as completed, I'm expecting the remaining capacity of this doctor associated with this child record should be updated as uh, total capacity minus one. So let me go to the doctor to verify that if it is updated or not. You see guys on the top header, now remaining capacity is 49. So how it is deducting the value automatically depending on the status of the child record doctor appointment. 
Now let me show you that I have created a workflow and in that workflow, I have created the workflow edge, instant workflow, right? If you don't know how to create instant workflow, you can check that. So this is the workflow I have created. Let me edit this to show you how I have done that. First of all, I am taking a trigger on status change. You can create workflow or configure workflows by using a trigger, status change, field value change, record creation, right? But I have taken record status change and it is an instant workflow, real time workflow. Now I am checking here if doctor appointment status reason equal to completed is a condition, update the related parent entity record which is Dr. Luca. Now click on view property. In the view, view property, you will see how I am using the decrement value. Now this is the total non remaining capacity. Let me search here. This is the remaining capacity. When you want to decrement the value, you just click this and let me deactivate this to show you. Let me deactivate so that you cannot understand. Otherwise, you cannot understand. If I will not deactivate, you cannot understand. So let me deactivate this. Now, if you click view properties, what I am doing, I am updating the parent record, related record, and assigning this value to remaining capacity, age, decrement, parameter or decrement operator in the format stand. You see guys, you scroll down here, I kept here and selected decrement by. So in operator, we have multiple options. Set to, when you want to set, you set to, you can select a default value to a field. Okay, let's say, let me just delete this. Let's say remaining capacity, I want to put a default value. So I can use set to default give a default value let's say 12 click ok then what it will do automatically it will set the remaining capacity value as static value which is 12 but i don't want to set a static value so remove this if you want to decrement use decrement by and select a default value here one and click ok so what it will do it will decrement the remaining capacity by one and update the value like that you can use increment by and multiply by and also you can use clear operator to make a field blank right so take help of this form assistant operators increment decrement by multiply by and clear and set two options depending on your business requirement and this is because of this configuration automatically the to remaining capacity is updated uh, when I create when I change the status of a child record associated with this doctor appoint associated with this employee. I hope you understand how it works using increment and decrement by. See you next time, guys. Bye.